you got to get rid of all your friends because all your friends are drunks right you got to get rid of probably a fair chunk of your family all of your social habits are wrong like it, it, it drives you like success really drives you and it's gonna keep you up at night it's gonna it's gonna make you it's gonna make you emotional it's gonna make you question yourself Ninety percent of podcasts don't make it past episode three, and of the ninety percent, the ten percent that do, ninety percent don't make it past episode twenty. So by making twenty-one podcasts, you are in the top percentile of all podcasters ever in history. That's what hard feels like. And if you're used to doing this, get in your car, sit down, drive to the office, sit down, go to the lunch, sit down, you know, go to the board meeting, sit down, get in your car on, on the way home, sit down, get home in front of the TV, sit down then go to the gym, fuck off. They don't have any energy. Now I'm sitting there thinking, take a day off. No one will know. But I keep on thinking too, there's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm haunted by that motherfucker. Knowing that that someone out there is willing to forgo personal desires and comforts, forgo sleep, forgo whatever it takes to be better, to be the best. In life a lot of times, a lot of us have that person out there. There may not be a name or a face to him, but he exists. You make sure in life they think about that person. You make sure they put a name and face to it. You make sure the name and face is yours. You do the haunting. Get in somebody's head. Own space. In those times when you want to quit, because we're all human. You make sure you remember one thing. All those times and hours and days you sacrifice to be the best. Sun don't stop for nobody, man. Sun don't f- stop. Sun gonna be up in the morning regardless. That sun is gonna be up <laughs> in the morning regardless. Regardless of how I f- feel and how depressed I am, the sun is gonna f- shine in the morning. And at nighttime, the moon gonna be there. And you gonna look up, these days gonna keep going by. So do you let the days go by and look up and you done wasted a year doing what? Or do you just pick it up? All right, well. Gotta figure it out, made some mistakes, life goes on. Let me figure out life from this point. You wanna become best, you wanna become champion, and now you wanna say like you're tired? Mm. Who cares, you're tired or not? Nobody cares about you. He was tired, he had personal problem, family Nobody cares. We're all writing a book. What's your book look like? Mm. What does your fucking book look like? Like your, your life is a book. You got a bunch of chapters in your book, but when they closed that book, how good was the book? I became obsessed with being the baddest that God ever created. Am I that? I don't care. I believe it. And I was trying to tell him, once you become obsessed with something, obsessed, it's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay. Don't be all this stuff people say, you got to be balanced to be the best in the world. At what you do, it's not about being a Navy SEAL, people. The best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. How bad do you want it? There's two options. To continue forward, pushing upward. And if you do, that dream is giving birth. And forever you will live in the reality of it. If you stop, quit, throw in the towel. I promise you there's no distance you can travel far enough to find that dream again. For it is dead. And in its death, it's replaced by regret. A lot of people live their entire lives not fulfilling their purpose. One time in my life I thought that. What was my purpose? Until you find the center of your being, you will continue to walk going through the motions. The one companion that's always going to be with you is yourself. Yourself is what you have. And you need to encourage yourself. You need to look around and you need to be able to say, look, I'm not stuck here unless I choose to stay here. If you don't have somebody who's going to do that, become that somebody. What's something difficult you're going through that people don't often see? I mean, my mind is a storm. I don't think most people would want to be me. They may think they would want to be me, but they don't. They don't know. They don't understand. 
there's 24 hours in the day when you're alone in this brain and your brain is talking to you in all kinds of ways and it wants to control you and pull you in these different pockets. You gotta tell your brain where you wanna go and how you wanna get there. If you can't control your own brain, it's over. Every day when you get out of bed, life's standing right there to kick you in the face, man. Life is gonna throw all kinds of crazy shit at you and you have to be ready for it and you gotta deal with it. You can't curl up into a ball, you can't run away from it, you can't hide. You have to take all this shit head on. Great things happen and really bad things happen. And you gotta take it all in stride. And you gotta pick yourself up the next day, strap your fucking shoes back on and get out there and go to fucking war again. Those people who you saw down there in that hole who were there with you, who were your friends and people who you counted on, because you meet the people in the same situation that you're in in life. Those people become your friends. And the second you try to get out of that situation and become better, those people are in that, in that grave, in that dungeon, just yanking at your heels, man, saying, get the like fuck it. back. Oh, no, get, oh, <laughs> come on back here, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. You ain't gonna make me feel like shit right. by you getting out of this hole. Who the fuck do you think you are? So I get that all the time now. People were constantly remind me of who I used to be back in the day. And they always come out of the woodworks, man. In the morning, it's 11 o'clock on the East Coast. The stock market been open two hours. They already making decisions about your life and your ass was sleep. Anger. I'm talking with where I am. I'm upset with what I have not accomplished. I'm upset at every time I've allowed myself to be distracted. Get upset. Get disappointed with yourself. There's a difference between disappointment and depression. You're not depressed. You're not down. You're not out. You're just disappointed. You're upset with the moments in your life when you allowed yourself to sink into depression, when you allowed yourself to become distracted. Get upset. Get flat out mad about where you are. Don't get mad to quit. Get mad to keep going. That's the problem is that you have to rewire and redirect your anger. I'm not going to be upset and quit. I'm going to get mad and stay in it. From this moment on, I need you to give it everything you have. You have.